We are John and Samantha, and the proud owners of a 1986 American Ford Econoline RV, bought by us as a salvage rebuild project. The RV was bought as severely water damaged and required the interior to be completely stripped out. We plan to spend 2021 rebuilding the RV, and that work will be shown here on the channel. In 2022, we plan to take the RV on trips around the UK, taking in some stunning scenery and hopefully some wild camping, all whilst undertaking the challenges of taking such a large vehicle down narrow country lanes. Just a quick video tip for you here, guys. So if you've got one of these Chinese diesel heaters, and you can hear a tick, 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 tick uh, in the background and it's quite loud. It's because the fuel pump has got a little uh, metal piston in, it's metal to metal contact. And that's what you can hear. Um, so we're gonna have a go at um, insulating our pump and uh, see if we can reduce that noise. Even if you reduce it by a quarter, uh, that's fantastic. In our case, the pump is mounted on rubber so that does help some are mounted on on metal so we're already part of the way there uh, so uh, let's see what we can do we're, we're going to use some soundproofing material that is from a Range Rover and uh, so let's get started as best we can guys we can show you a little bit of video on what it is that we're using so it's, it's a where can we get it no it's not it's a five millimetre uh, foam type material. As I say, it's from a, from a Range Rover. Uh, we, we bought this to use on a, on a salvage project that we've got. But uh, yeah, this will do the job really nicely. Beautiful. Okay, and there we go, guys. So, well insulated um, uh, fuel pump. Uh, there's, uh, we would imagine there's very little sound going to be coming out of this now. We'll, we'll uh, see what happens on the test. But uh, yeah, we this piece here was uh, doubled. There's, there's two pieces on here, so we've got about 10 millimeters of sound insulation here, five mil of insulation here, and five mil of insulation here. Yeah, and the good thing about this insulation as well is um, this has got a self-adhesive backing, so we're not relying on the uh, cable ties. These cable ties are just an extra. It actually sticks really well onto the uh, metal surface of the pump. Okay, guys, so insulating the, uh, the pump has worked fine, great. A uh, little bit of noise reduction, but we want more. So we're going to have a look now to see if we can... Put some noise insulation um, inside the casing. Let's see what room we've got at the top between the case and the uh, the tank. Okay, so we're estimating we've got about five millimeters to play with between the side of the uh, plastic fuel container and, and the metal cabinet sheet. Um, the insulation material we're using is also about five millimeters, so we'll see uh, how that goes. And that measures about 13 centimetres. By 30 centimetres. Okay, and in the casing we've got some holes. I assume these are for uh, air ventilation holes. I don't know. Maybe they're to show you how much fuel's in the fuel tank. Uh, but nevertheless, we are going to cut some holes of, out of the uh, noise reducing material, um, just in case they are for air vents. Okay, and there's the first one. Okay, quick test fit on that one side, and we. Do seem to have uh, room here, although the casing is not yet, not connected, not screwed on yet. But uh, we do still have some clearance, so let's get the second piece uh, stuck on. There we go. 
that's our material installed not the most artistic but it's there um, we haven't um, put any here the reason for that is the fuel pump uh, insulation is quite high um, so uh, yeah we'd, we'd, we'd foul that so we've left that part off right let's get the cover on and see how it fits well, that's the cover on guys and uh, I can tell you what that didn't feel tight at all and there still feels yeah I mean you can see it there there is still uh, room to move so pretty good okay what's next Okay, next job then guys, exhaust pipe. We want to make sure all the heat discharges out the end of the pipe, or as much as we can. So how are we going to do that? We're going to wrap it in this stuff. This is uh, heat insulation material. You often see these on motorbike exhaust manifolds, that kind of thing. And it wraps around the pipe. So we'll have a go at that now. And that's the stuff then guys, so it's like a bandage and then we've got these uh, titanium strips that go uh, around it to act as sort of cable ties. So uh, yeah, let's, let's have a go, see what we can do with it. Never used this before, so it's a first for me. Yeah, this is not easy guys. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've only got four of these titanium uh, ties in the kit. So what I'm going to do, initially, I'm going to hold the, uh, the fabric in place with some plastic cable ties. And then when I know I've got it in the right position, I'm going to cut the uh, plastic cable ties off and install the titanium ones instead. Yeah, using the plastic first, definitely the way to go. Right, so that's the exhaust uh, bandage, the heat, heat bandage, whatever you want to call it, uh, now fitted. I've only used a couple of these titanium ties because they're not holding the bandage on that tight. So I've used the traditional locking wire method uh, along the length. Um, I might put one or two more on, but it, it's holding, no problem. Um, yeah, or else what I was going to say, oh yes, guys, if you do uh, use this stuff, then I really do suggest you use um, uh, gloves because this thing is makes your hands really prickly. Must have some kind of fiberglass material in it or something that makes your hand prickly anyway. But no instructions came with the uh, uh, the material, so um, you might be forgiven for <laughs> not wearing gloves. Uh, right, we are going to test it now, so uh, bear with us and we'll get it on the machine. Um, we're going to try it in the workshop though, um, not in the RV today, so uh, bear with me and we'll get that set up. Okay, so we just fired up and uh, we'll get it uh, on full blast and see what, see what happens. Guys, fantastic! The, you can still hear the pump clicking, but it is at least half as quiet uh, than it was. So that is fantastic and you know you saw what we did to quiet it down to this level but you could even go further than that but yeah we're chuffed to bits with this but by the time this is uh, boxed in you, you in, you're not going to even hear it at all so uh, yeah that's fantastic okay guys that's another one uh, for uh, the diesel heater um, and uh, if you like our videos please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, we should get another video to, video out here this week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, uh, okay. Take care, guys. Love you loads. See you soon.